Hello, my name is Jonathan Michaelstein, and um, trying, I'm here to try to help you guys out with a little rotation problem that happens. I can't replicate it for some reason, but you, you probably know whenever you do a rotation, sometimes it goes the opposite way uh, to that destination. You don't want to do that. Well, there are two ways to do it. Um, one way is to click the quad interpolation, where it just finds the shortest distance between uh, each frame, so that way it ignores... Um, uh, ignores that problem completely, but um, it does not support, as you can see, it does not support ease in or out. I'm not sure what that means, but I'd rather not go with this if you can, you know, if you can, you know, avoid that. Or, but if you need to, use it. Uh, here's the second way to solve the problem. Um, I can't, like I said, I can't replicate the problem, uh, but it can happen no matter what. So what you can do in order to solve it is that what you should. You do basically under here. This is show rotation on curve editor. You check that out. Now you want to. Oh, you can just click this. You want to click this over right here. Um, this is the x, y, and z axis of movement, and this is the x, y, and z axis or uh, pitch roll and uh, I forgot the other one, but it doesn't really matter at the moment. Uh, what you want to do is uncheck uh, the movement one so you don't have them interfere, and deal with the one that you're. Are currently doing right now mine's is the Z one so I'm gonna check these and let's see in the editor what it looks like as you can see this thing moves all the way over there but if it's not if it's not moving the correct way what you need to do is right click this and set the value see it's set to negative 90 but sometimes it may set it to the opposite number like it said not I mean, not not set the opposite I'll set it to um, 270 or something like that I don't know what exactly causes the glitch, but I do know this This is the way to solve it. You just type in the value you want, and it'll rotate to that specific area. Like, if I wanted to rotate it to, let's say, um, oh yeah, and also whenever you rotate, make sure it, you rotate in increments of 90. That could be negative 90s or 90s, but, you know, you have to rotate in those increments, or otherwise you, uh, call it, otherwise it causes glitches from time to time. Uh, now, in order to do this, um, Let's say we type in 90. What it like it went to the uh, wrong way, so you want to correct this. You type in 90 degrees, and now it sees it points the opposite direction because that's what 90 degrees is. So that's basically it to solve this problem. You can do it with the other axes too, but also remember that, like I said, only rotate increments of 90. Like if you haven't want to do a 360 uh, turn, just you know divide it. Then you want it to be smooth. You just divide it by uh, 4 on the timeline. Uh, I'm not going to do the calculations right now, but uh, you would just like mark the other 3 in between it, and you would put that in linear mode. And you basically would just, you, you know, you would basically just have it rotate completely in a circle. Also, if you wanted to go in a, okay, we're going off tangent, never mind. So, that's basically it. Um, hope that helps, and you're welcome.